If the save a lot closed its doors for good, citing crime as the reason, Action News 5's Joyce Peterson joins us live with a look at how difficult it is for smaller grocery stores to survive in Memphis. Joyce? Yeah, Joe, theft can really take a bite out of the bottom line for small grocery stores. It's also tough for them to compete with the big box grocers like Walmart and Kroger. But there are success stories in Memphis. Little guys who take over where corporations failed. And with the help of a village, a food desert can blossom. There's it, always something going on every day over around here. Winfred Crawford disappointed to learn his neighborhood grocery store, the Save-A-Lot on... See, people, this actually what happened down here in Jackson, Mississippi. The damn favor lot closed down on the south side of Jackson, Mississippi, because crime has risen, and these sorry ass police officers can't get a hold of these sorry ass thugs, the crackheads, these meth heads. And so, what happens is, these mom and pops, these small businesses, they can't handle all the theft because they gotta replace all this stuff back. And eventually they just end up closing down. <clears throat> so, that normally what happens, you know, Memphis, uh, population so shouldn't feel bad because I'm telling you this is the same thing happened in Jackson, Mississippi where I live at, right here on the south side damn stable I closed down, I used to go to stable a lot <clears throat> but now I go to a place called Food Depot and as you heard in a minute on this food on this uh on this news clip um, they got a cash saver, and that's where I go to. I go to cash saver in Walmart. A night Arnold in Parkway Village is closing. Sign on the door blames theft. I really hate that they closing down because this is my spot, especially when I want to spend a lot of money. Like I was just gonna get some milk and cereal. You know what I mean? It's a part of the. The only thing he wanted was some milk and cereal. And now he can't get that because niggas getting stuff closed down business it's uh an unfortunate part of the business obviously rick james owns three local cash savers rick james stores and two boutique grocery stores when kroger closed its south memphis store in 2018 citing a two million dollar loss at that location james wanted to fill that food desert it takes help it takes uh communities and governments kind of coming together to provide some assistance not only to get the doors open at the start, but also to be able to sustain um, a working business model. James Company received financial support from The Edge, the Economic Development Agency for Memphis and Shelby County, and from The Works, a nonprofit community development corporation serving South Memphis. Edge and the City of Memphis also helped Superlow move into Orange Mound after Kroger closed that store in 2018. Save a lot, meanwhile, just underwent a nationwide restructuring. Four CEOs in seven years. The Memphis stores have been sold twice in the last four years. The Binghampton Save a Lot closed in 2020, and now with the Parkway Village store shuttering. And now, they ruined my whole day. Shoppers like. Ruined a man's whole day because she couldn't get no cereal. Ruined a man's whole day because he couldn't get no cereal. Shame on you. <clears throat> Shame on you. Save a lot are closing down. This right here is a goddamn shame though, because you got people out there in the neighborhood, out there stealing, people shooting up motherfuckers. And the only thing that hurts is the people in the community. They're just like, when Black Lives Terror's organization, Antifa, was going around burning up buildings, killing people back in the days. <clears throat> the only thing that did was hurt the community, hurt the people that live in the community. So when you got theft crime <clears throat> and 
not enough police and this type of stuff happens, you know. I feel sorry for this young man, I really do. Cause I don't think he wanted some milk and cereal. Now he can't get it. At Winfred Crawford have to find a new place to buy healthy, affordable food. The cash saver in South Memphis, meanwhile, defied the naysayers and is successful. I can tell you that right now we uh, just concluded a negotiation to uh, extend to 2030 in that store. We signed a new lease. So uh, it is possible. It is possible. James, who was named the 2024 Retailer of the Year by the Tennessee Grocer and Convenience Store Association, credits longtime loyal employees and a strong security team for safely and efficiently running his stores. Reporting live in Midtown outside the cash saver tonight, Joyce Peterson, Action News 5. That's the end of the video, you guys. The video will be in the description below. And as always, I love those who love me. These uh, police officers uh, have to get a hold of all the crime, especially in the black community, because people ain't gonna have nowhere to shop at. And that's a damn shame.